today's video is regarding Canon Pixima MG2524 all-in-one printer I'm going to show you how to do quick unboxing and setup of this printer and we will also use it for a connection with our computer and then we will do the print copy and scan with that also uh, this printer comes with the USB cable so it's a good thing you don't need to buy a separate USB cable because this is not a Wi-Fi printer so you have to use the USB cable for printing and scanning so let's start with the unboxing and in the end I'll give you a review regarding this printer Next step is to switch on the printer so press the power button as you can see here and wait for the printer to start and we have to install the setup in cartridges and that is 243 black 244 color and to install them we have to open the ink cartridge chamber door which is at the bottom here to install the setup ink cartridges we have to open the ink cartridge chamber door so you will see there is a handle here so if you just push it outside it will open the door and ink cartridge chamber you can see here so here we have to install the ink cartridges make sure you just check the marking you will see here color and black so color will go here so simply place it in simply place it in so you just have to slide it and push it inwards like this and black you have to slide in and just push it in and you will hear the lock sound here as now close the ink cartridge chamber door next step is to install the A4 size sheets and to load the paper tray we simply have to pull this portion and place it like this and here we have the different sizes we can use like it is A4, B5, A5, 5 into 7, 4 into 6 you have to just push it to one side place the pages here and adjust the size so we have completed the initial setup and our printer is ready for the copy and you can see to do a copy you simply have to open the top scanner lid and place a page here facing downwards on the left hand side corner close the lid and go on the display panel here here you see you have option for the black and color so click on the black paper output tray is at the bottom so you just have to pull it out now the next thing is to set up this printer with your computer so already we have installed the uh, data cable here so the cable is supplied with the printer so you just have to connect one end to the printer and other to your computer the next thing is to install the driver so you get a CD with this printer on the bottom screen we see DVD here so Canon IZ so run the setup program now click on the next button select the place you want to use it select the country and just install all the drivers so just select all and click on the next button
do the print head alignment so click on the execute button so once we do the scanning you will see the next option and you will see the setup is complete so click on the next button test print so just click on that and it will do the printing for us so here we can see that is the test print here so we just have to check if everything is okay on this so we can see the quality of the print is good now go to your computer and click on the next button and from here you can exit the setup so it is completely installed I'm going to show you how to do the scanning so place it facing downwards on the left hand side corner close the lid and here you see icon this is for the Canon you can just open it and you see here print scan web services all options are available and you can just manage your printer from here for scanning click on the document scan and it will open a new window so once you click on the document scan it will start the scanning process and just wait for the scan to appear here so if you want to add more pages just place the next page and click on the scan button or click the exit once you click on the exit just wait for the scan to appear so here is the scan available if you double click on that you can see the full size of this the, the quality of the scan is good as well and I'll show you how to print for that open this recent PDF as you can see here now click on the print icon and select your printer MG2500 series and click on the print button and here we'll see how long it takes for the print now So here is the result overall I can say it's uh, easy to use this printer but the only thing is when you are going to set up this printer may take half an hour to one hour to just install the drivers in your computer and once you install it it's ready to use from there you can do the printing and scanning with it and this is a color printer only thing is it is not a Wi-Fi printer so always you have to use a USB cable and the good thing is USB cable is provided with the printer so you do not have to buy it separately. Thanks for watching.